proposing to you? What do you want to ring? <laughs> well, Oscar, if that's how you really feel. <laughs> So the Odd Couple's been an interesting process. I mean, we had we had the actors in the building the first day we all talked about sort of how we have to care for each other. What that means is there are eight of us in the show, we're gonna perform unmasked, so the reality is anywhere I go, anytime uh, I make decisions, I have to treat them like I have seven roommates who are with me. That's what makes me feel guilty. You're always in my bathroom hanging up my towels. When I smoke, you follow me around with an ashtray. Last night, I catch you in the kitchen washing the floor moaning, footprints, footprints. I didn't say they were yours. Well, they are mine, damn it. I have feet and they make prints. Galloway is designed to show such that no actor ever shares a prop or puts their mouth on a prop that another actor has actor touched. If someone touches a glass, that means no one else drinks from it. If someone touches a phone, that means no one else uses that phone, which is interesting in a show like The Odd Couple where there's a constant poker game going on, there's constant food being passed out, there's supposed to be beer, here's a scotch glass, Oscar personally hands drinks out to a bunch of people. But there are clever tricks that Galilee has designed in there, such as I open up a beer can, it explodes all over the table, Roy, played by Alex Boyles, gets really upset, takes the can, goes back in the kitchen. When he comes out, He's drinking, but he has gotten himself a fresh can that has not been touched by me in a cozy that he has controlled the entire time. When a phone rings and Murray, played by August Gabriel, picks up the phone and says, hey, it's for you, Oscar. I come to get the phone, but there's a second phone hidden away that I pick up the second phone. I never touch the phone that August himself picked up. And that's true for every prop in the show. I can't remember. I'm calling Francis. No, no, don't tell her. Don't tell her. If she heard I took a whole bottle of pills. No, 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 no Patterns where the actors came in, they went directly to stage. Director and stage manager came in and they worked, they worked at the far end of the house from us and they never got close to us. And I know that Galloway is a very hands-on director usually. Usually he'll want to come up and mess with the furniture, talk you through beats. I mean, directors usually are very hands-on in the process. Every measure that was planned out during this rehearsal process was carefully considered to, to minimize the amount of contact between the cast and basically anybody else. As much as we can bubble ourselves and cocoon ourselves, uh, the, the safer it's gonna be. What do you and I do? Well, we read and we talk. No, no, no. I read and you talk. I, I try to work and you talk. I, I, I take a bath and you talk. I go to sleep and you talk. I mean, we have your life arranged pretty well, but I'm just, I'm looking for a little entertainment. So one of the things I really love about The Odd Couple is this, it's this brilliantly funny show. I think that Neil Simon, uh, he has a classic sense of the rhythm of theater and the rhythm of comedy. Like if you play his stuff at pace, it's something Galloway talked about a lot. If you play the rhythm of the piece and then pause at exactly the right time, the laughs come, they're there. Because the thing is written like a symphony of funny. And I think Neil, Neil Simon is just adept at that. I mean, I think that we know The Odd Couple. Uh, we all remember it. We know that Felix is fastidiously clean and we know that Oscar's a slob and that the friction between those two personality types cause, causes conflict and fun moments. But in rediscovering the play, when we talked about doing it, you remember that at its heart, it's, it's, it's a very human story as well. It's about two men who are going through divorce. Uh, Oscars is six months old, but it's still very raw because he's been doing his best not to think about it and just live his life and, and drink and not think about it. Whereas Felix, it just has happened and he is spending every moment of his life worried about how his life can continue under the, under the um, dark cloud of what just happened to him in his personal life. So it's a comedy, it's very funny. You're gonna come to the theater and you're gonna laugh, but like any good comedy, it's set on the bones of a very good dramatic story. Because there's no point to it, I'd still be angry and I would have a broken cup. How do you know how you feel? Maybe you'd feel wonderful. Why do you have to control every single thought that comes in your head? Why don't you let loose once in a while? I think as an audience member on the fence as to whether or not you should come see The Odd Couple, what, what I'd say is that 
I think it's good to laugh again. Like it's good to come into a theater and laugh with other human beings around you. I mean, yes, we're socially distanced and we max capacity at 44 people and there's space between you and other people. But the, the act of laughter in a building with other people is something I've felt the lack of and performing it's been a gift in terms of like, I get to do what I love and there's actual human beings in the audience responding live to it. I think a lot of what theater artists have done to survive during this time period is create art via the internet and read plays via Zoom and try desperately to stay connected to what their passion is. But it's difficult to replace the actual live feedback of an audience responding to a show. So if you're an audience member on the fence about whether to see The Odd Couple or not, know that it's a very funny piece. Know that we've done our very best to keep you safe within our building. And know that like all projects of the Cabaret, we are dumping 100% of the passion that we have to produce a piece that is, that is hopefully well-crafted and something you're gonna enjoy.